Well, tonight, people living in the cities of Columbia and Forest Acres uh, grappling with a string of 13 burglaries to date just since September. Investigators report guns, money, jewelry, tools, electronics, all stolen. A victim actually gave us ring camera video showing two people approaching his carport. The victim says the following morning, a contractor called to let him know that his back door was open. He came home to find that his home had been rummaged through and his gun missing. Our investigative reporter Chris Joseph followed up with law enforcement today. So Chris, any themes here? What have you learned? Judy, yes, several themes here. The burglaries appear to have no one is at the home. Traditionally, for most of them, the back doors are being targeted and forced entry has been used repeatedly. Now, the burglar or burglars appear to be after smaller items, which, of course, can be handheld, as you just said. The concern now is they may find residents at home, too, creating a dangerous situation. This video is from Jared Keel's Forest Acres home. Two people approach his carport. My uh, contractor about 10 o'clock the next day called me and said my back door had been kicked in. The same day, Keel's neighbor reported stolen computer hardware and software after a break-in. Three days before that, Forest Acres police responded to a burglary where the kitchen door had been forced open and electronics were stolen. I want to nip this in the bud. I want to shut it down as quickly as possible. Forest Acres Police Chief Don Robinson says his team is working with the Columbia Police Department to reel in a string of burglaries, 13 in total in both cities, dating back to September. While the dispatch times for Columbia's burglaries differ, Robinson's team reports the Forest Acres burglaries are happening at dinner time when people are traditionally home, creating a potentially more dangerous situation. Here, um, in this evening hours, it's totally, it's a little different ball game. That exact scenario played out earlier this month. A Forest Acres woman reported two suspects attempted to open her home's rear door. She called out, who's there? She called 911 and the suspects ran off. Sooner or later, they're going to run into the wrong house um, and somebody's going to be waiting for them and it's not going to end well. And I would hate that for anybody. I would hate that for the homeowner they try to go into and I would hate that for themselves. Um, because somebody's going to have the right defense mechanisms in place and protect their home. I asked Keels what justice would look like for him. If they get caught and it comes to that, I, I hope the sentencing is uh, true to the letter of the law, not um, the spirit of being forgiven just for being a first-time offender type of thing. The Columbia Police Department recommends locking doors, making your home appear occupied, and not allowing mail to pile up when you're away. Judy Dondi.